Hey Aquarius, thank you so much uh, for coming to your love reading. Just a couple of things. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. All right, let's hop into it. Top energy, this is going to be your twin flame. This is going to be somebody that you're connected to long term. Usually this is somebody, it's a very intense connection, whether good, positive, indifferent, nonetheless. Bottom energy, that's somebody new that's coming in your life or a newer connection, or for those of you guys that are single and dating. All right. What's how do how does Aquarius view their current romantic situation with this with this top energy? Aquarius. Okay, the sun. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or a Scorpio. Libra Taurus. I feel like for you right now, it's like you've put in a lot of work with this person, I feel like. And I think that this may even be somebody that you guys have kids with. This could be somebody from childhood that you're currently reconciling with. Or you may even be pregnant by this person right now. There's something here about a level of happiness and growth. And it's like you feel like you both are contributing to the relationship right now. I also feel like with the Six of Cups, that's definitely Scorpio energy. I think for some of you guys, it's like, you know, you want to be with this person, hands down. Like, there's nothing here telling you that you don't. I do think at times it's like you are waiting for this person to do the right thing. And I feel like this person tends to move in silence. How does Aquarius feel about the romantic connection with this top energy? Queen of Swords, definitely Libra energy. Pisces or Aquarius. Ooh, Aries and Scorpio. I feel like you and this person are currently at a place where you're having the hard conversations, right? You're having the conversations of, hey, where is this going? How are we planning to get here? I think that you're cutting through all the BS. I think you're cutting through any past situations that were rough. And I think that you're willing to take some type of new start with this person. I feel like all is well right now. And I feel like things for you, you may feel like they're working out as they should. And it's like, maybe for some of you guys, especially with the full card here, it's like you're detaching from any of the outcome. You're, you're ultimately living within the moment. And I feel like there's a level of stability doing that. Like, I feel like if you guys live in the past, that's depression, right? If you think about the past too much, that's depression. If you worry about the future, that's anxiety. And I feel like right now, you guys are in a good place. And I think that you want what you know. I don't think that you want anything old. Do you know what I mean? Like you're very focused on this person. All right. What about this newer energy coming in for Aquarius? How do, how do they view their romantic situation? Mm. Judgment. Temperance. This person may be at a distance from you. Three of Swords. There's Libra energy, but we are in Libra season and Venus and Aquarius. For those of you guys that are dealing with somebody new, I think you recently found out with this judgment, like when this person wasn't communicating with you, because I definitely feel like there's a, there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of um, like physical effort. Same thing here, though. It, it, it's weird. It's like you have cups, you have swords, you have pentacles, but the only wand is the emperor. Like, like there's not enough movement. I think you and this person know what you want, but now it's like taking action on it. Same thing down here. There's zero emotions right now with this person. I feel like they're being very selfish. I think you recently found out some type of information that was like blew you away possibly about another relationship that this person had. I feel like somebody has a lot of regret here. You are your person, and I feel like you can't trust them. There's something here about not trusting them due to the competition. Like, I feel like there was additional competition, especially with this Three of Swords here. And it was drama. Like, I don't know if an ex or that person's person reached out to you, but there's something here about drama, like it's too much drama. And there's always somebody here that's lying, that's cheating, that's not being honest. 
And I feel because of that, especially with Libra and Saturn or Saturn and Libra, it's like this person or you, I don't know which one, one of you guys, there was like some type of hard lesson that came in that blew everything up and really like adjusted things. Yeah, I feel like something expanded here. And I feel like it's the three of swords. It, it was definitely a heartbreak and it could be because somebody was going between two people. Initially you were talking, everything was cool. Then this person went quiet. Then they started to toggle both things. I don't know if somebody else came back into play, but then it's like you found out. How does Aquarius view this romantic situation? Which may be why you're like, I'm just going to stick with what I know. Okay, Six of Pentacles. To me, that's going back and forth. You have the Four of Pentacles. There's Capricorn energy. And you have the King of Pentacles. How does this make Aquarius feel? I think you realize that this person wasn't single. That they were in a committed relationship or they were married. Yeah, two of pentacles. They they had more than one option. There's something here that this person has been giving into, like they were giving to you and they were also giving to somebody else. There was something that they needed to release, possibly a relationship, possibly a Taurus. Or a Capricorn. <clears throat> in order for this relationship to fully flourish and fully bloom. The problem was, is there was too many options, too much drama, and I think it's like you're trying to fight for something that this person isn't communicating on, but you already know what's up. All righty then. How does this top energy feel romantically about Aquarius right now? Judgment, the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. I think that your person knows you were talking to somebody else, or you may have been entertaining somebody else. There's also a lot of, um, they feel like it's unnecessary, and that maybe you go back and forth fighting with yourself here. It's almost like things can be perfect, but it's it's a level of self-sabotage. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I view it. I also feel like with judgment here, it's like when they took time away to pause and think about things, I think that you've called them out on a lot of their BS, especially with the high priestess. And they're over here thinking like, what do, what do they know that I don't? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you have their number and I think that they know that you're somebody that holds a lot of secrets, but then you also know their secrets. They feel like you're somebody that's very well balanced. However, if, if they're not giving to you, they know somebody else is giving to you. That That's coming in as a very strong energy. Why is judgment here? What are they realizing about Aquarius? Mm. Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. In the hermit. And this is moon and Aquarius, right? They feel like you live a double life. If you want me to be 100% honest, like this person feels like you're not telling them everything. Like there's things that you have hidden and they know that and they feel like you do things when they're not around possibly. And they also feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here that you're very focused on doing what's best for you, that you are very consistent, but that work is right now maybe a focal point for you. Also too though, this Virgo energy, sometimes it means like you're working on what's best for you. You're working on yourself. You're working on bettering yourself. And I feel like this person doesn't like it. Time out. I feel like this is a good thing, okay, Aquarius? Like, I don't think that there's anything wrong with you working on yourself. You know why? Because people don't like when you start to change and you start to elevate because then they lose a sense of control. So I know that this person feels like you're you're very quiet right now. You're, you're, you're doing a lot of soul searching pertaining to you, pertaining what's best for you. 
and maybe that's not including them in it. And that's okay because there's a reason it's soul searching, singular soul searching. Introspection, that's taking a look at the inside. I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. Okay. What about this newer energy? How do they feel romantically about Aquarius? Listen, I know this person has like lightweight negative feelings towards you right now, but honestly, who cares? I mean, the only person's opinion that matters is yours. At the end of the day, you know, I always say, does it fall within the three Fs? Are they feeding you, funding you, or fucking you? If they don't fall within the three Fs, bye. You know what I mean? And at the same point in time, it still comes down to what is best for you, Aquarius. Because you constantly doing and constantly, you know, holding everything in with this person, it's not healthy. And I feel like you're ready to explode because you are fighting for a new you. And I don't feel like this person likes that. What about this newer energy? How do they feel romantically towards Aquarius? Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the lovers. Isn't it funny? You felt better about this top person. Now this bottom person feels better about you. Four of cups and strength. All right. I feel like for them, they feel like things are changing with you. They see you evolving. They see you adapting, right? They, they see some type of new you right now going on. And they feel like you're very much in control. You're in control of the situation. You're not allowing this situation to control you. Yes, there's a lot of cups here. Now we have the wands, right? It's like you're the one that takes action. If you want it, you go get it. Like you don't have a problem doing that. They also feel like for some reason you're very focused on your work, that you keep yourself busy with work in order not to like think about them. And I feel like too, with strength here, they may feel like you're fighting the connection. And they may be fighting the connection as well. Nonetheless, somebody is fighting here. I also feel like, too, there's a strong friendship. It's, it's like maybe you and this person were taking things slow for a period of time. But for whatever reason, it's like maybe they were in denial of the connection. Which is what created this, this prolonged suffering between the two of you. But I feel like now it's some type of newfound courage to express to you how they feel. Jupiter here, things are expanding, right? Jupiter is always expanding. There's a lot of love here that they have for you. They feel like you're their soulmate. At the same point in time, they also feel like with the moon here, moon and um, cancer, they know that they're not giving you enough. They're not feeding you emotionally enough. They know that. They know that you need more. And they also know that you're thinking about somebody else. It's not that you're thinking about them. You're thinking about somebody else. Page of Swords. Hangman. Ten of Swords. It may be you, Aquarius, that hurt them, if you want me to be honest. What I think happened is I think you stopped talking to this person and you left them hanging. And I feel like they're in this, this area of this Ten of Swords. Either they did that to you or you did that to them. Because there's too many options, right? And I also feel like somebody is married here, which is also coming in the way of the connection. But nonetheless, this person loves you. They want something real with you. And I feel like they're very focused on creating this with you. For some of you guys, I just heard that there's some type of surprise coming with this newer energy. For some of you guys, you're married to this top energy. What's blocking these two romantically? What's blocking Aquarius and this top energy romantically? Possibly a Gemini or lack of communication. Somebody wants more. Somebody here desires more from somebody than what, they, what they're capable of giving. It's like there's a lot of overthinking, and I feel like there's not enough emotionally that's being shared. I also feel like, too, somebody is very defensive right now. They're standing their guard. It's like there's a lot of challenges with inside of this relationship. Somebody's always on the defensive. 
if somebody's always leaving the house and you're like, hey, where are you going? They get hella defensive about you asking a question or them asking you a question. And I think for you, it's because you feel like there's more than one option here. And it's creating a lot of anxiety because on you or your partner's end because of the eight of swords. Remember how they felt about you was the seven of swords. They don't know what you're doing. So for them, they're in their head about what you're doing when you're leaving and why you're being so like guarded, like get away from me. Like, uh-uh, like you're not being very like loving or caring or one of, one of you guys is not being. And I feel like it's because there's a lot of imbalance inside of the relationship. And there's something here where it's like you and this person need to communicate, but there's a lack of communication. And I feel like it's just not enough. For some of you guys, it's like, yeah, this is just not enough. I, I, I don't want this with you. It's too much. Like, I don't know. I just keep hearing like, it's too much. What about this newer energy? What's blocking Aquarius and this newer energy? I feel like it's this top energy. Sometimes, here's what I've noticed. Like, have you guys ever, and put it in the comment box, I'm curious. Have you ever dated somebody or like were attached to somebody, but then you started dating them and then this person found out and all of a sudden, this person's energy is so strong that the person you're dating is like, like they're gone because this person's energy pushes it out. Because I feel like that happens fucking quite a bit. What's a block here for this newer energy with Aquarius? I'm going to be honest. Somebody here is playing mind games. Somebody here is dibbling and dabbling in magic, possibly. You may be blocking the connection. And also Jupiter. It's. I think that you're trying to figure out what's best for you. I also think, too, here, somebody wants to move much quicker than what you want to move. And there's a lot of manipulation coming in. Like, I don't know. I feel like this person is trying to like mind fuck you or play certain games. And it's not healthy. Also here, there's some type of secret. This may be some type of secret love affair and it's complicated. Like there, there's a lot of things that complicate this and there's like a double life. Like what one of you, what, what one of you sees is not who the person really is. And I also feel like there's a divorce here that needs to happen. I don't know if it's on your end or your person's end. And I also feel like it has to do with the right time, right? You can love somebody, but if it's not the right time, it's, you know, divine timing is legit, right? Two people can love the hell out of each other, but if it's not the right time, then it's never going to work. That doesn't mean you guys don't care about each other and love each other, but it's like other things have to happen before you guys can actually like move on. What's this person's intentions? What is this person's overall intentions with Aquarius? What is what is this top energy's overall romantic intentions with Aquarius? Ten of Cups. King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Swords. I feel like this person wants to be happy with you but I feel like they want a level of control. They wanna be the leader. They wanna be the one that says which direction to go, right or left. They wanna be the one that has a level of control over you. And I'm gonna keep it real, like show me an Aquarius that can be controlled. Go ahead, I'll wait. That is like the one sign, in my opinion, that cannot be controlled at all. Like, I don't care what you do. If, it, if an Aquarius does not feel like, Aquarius is like, I give you control. Don't get it twisted. But it's also a play on your guys' end, right? I give it, you know, give and I can take it back away. I feel like this person wants to change directions of how things are going. I think that there's a lot of unsaid messages here between you and them. I feel like they want to have like this happy ending of family and peace. And almost like, it's almost like a fairy tale. But I think for part of you guys... You may feel like, is it fake? Yeah, I don't know why I get that. Give me more information on what they want from this person. What do they want? What is, I mean, what is their intentions romantically with Aquarius, this top energy? Okay, the lovers is here. That's beautiful. Strength. See, they're very focused on you. See, the problem is you're moving how you want to move, and now this person doesn't like it, so they're trying to regain a level of control. 
And I definitely feel like they want a new start here. I feel like this person is like hanging on, like they're barely hanging on. And I feel like you're get, getting ready to like guillotine that ass, like, bye. Nonetheless, I think that they realize what's the strength of you being in the relationship. And I think that they want a fresh new start with you. How does Aquarius feel about this? Eight of Wands and the Emperor. If you want me, then stand up and be the person that I need you to be. Then create a level of structure, right? Communicate with me. You want this person to openly communicate with you and do what they say, right? Take an action. If you told me this, then you need to do it. What about this bottom energy? What about this bottom energy? What are their intentions romantically with Aquarius? Part of me with this person, it's it's almost like it's a game, right? It's like this person wants to win. And for a lot of you guys, you are a trophy. So whether that's a trophy wife, trophy husband, I don't really know, but this person views you as like arm candy, eye candy. And they want to be recognized as your person or as your partner. It's like they want to win. Two of Cups is here. Honestly, both of these people love you, which is insane, but not surprising. Like, I always feel like Aquarius, like, don't get it twisted. Aquarius is one of those signs that always has a backup plan. Always. Name Aquarius that does not have a backup plan. I'll go ahead and wait. At least all the Aquariuses in my life, like, they always have, like, they always have a trick up their sleeve that no one sees coming. All right. So, Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Two of Cups, the Star. I think that they want to have a conversation with you on how you feel and, and what can happen moving forward. They also want to, like, instill some type of faith, regain your faith, regain your trust here. Shit. You have Queen of Cups. Wow. This person has it bad for you too. I I would not be surprised if this person offers you something hella solid. Just letting you know. Ten of Pentacles, that's marriage. Queen of Cups, that's emotional stability. Nine of Cups, you have wish fulfillment. Look, you have the star here, which is a wish. And then you have the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. The fact that these are coming together like that, that's hella special. They want to be happy with you. They want something real with you. There's definitely something here about having a level of structure, investing in one another, and creating a lot of stability, emotional stability, as well as financial stability, because that's important. I also feel like this bottom person realizes like you're the only one for them. And I think that they needed time. And I feel like maybe it took you moving on or somebody moving on to realize it because I think that this may have just started off as like a fling. And now I feel like there's a level of worry here. So Aquarius, that is your reading. I love you guys so much. Thank you for always supporting my channel. It means the world to me. And until next time, peace out Girl Scout. Bye.